Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are taking our honest first look at the Mutsu. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I find that Japanese is a little bit easier for me to pronounce than uh, German, but hopefully I was correct. Uh, somebody will have to let me know. I'm sure you guys are out there. Let me know if I'm correct. Um, or at least close. I try to get close. I try not to completely butcher it. Now, there's there's a lot I need to talk about, and I don't have a whole lot of time because this match isn't going to last very long. So I uh, hope you guys are ready for uh, a lot of information in a short amount of time with the gameplay going on in the background. The Matsu, uh, brand new premium Tier 5 battleship. Now, Tier 5 battleship with torpedoes. And I have an issue with this. Not with the fact that it has torpedoes. It's starting to become a thing with the German battleships and, and the battle cruiser slash pocket battleship slash actual cruiser. Uh, <laughs> um, it's not that unusual nowadays to see a battleship with, with torpedoes. That's not my issue. My issue is that this ship has 410 millimeter guns and is a Nagato class battleship and it's a tier 5 oh and did I mention it has torpedoes uh, so what what is my problem with this well first of all I don't believe it should be a tier 5 I believe it should be a tier 6 just like it is the Nagato the Nagato which is literally what this ship is <laughs> it is a tier ship or tier 6 battleship um, and that works. Why? Because Nagato goes up against Tier 7s occasionally. Most of the time. And Tier 7s versus a Nagato balances it. The Nagato is a very, very good ship. Now you're taking a very, very good Tier 6 battleship and putting it against Tier 5s, 4s, 3s, and sixes. <laughs> the the worst matchmaking you're ever going to have is tier six. And as you're about to witness in this battle, it's disgusting what this ship will do against tier sixes. Let alone fives, fours, and threes. And I know what you're thinking, but Spartan, you should never end up in a tier five, four, three match. It happens all the time. This crazy love of mine. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, so what happens is some guy and his buddy division up. He's like, hey, I want to play a tier 4. Okay, well, I don't have a tier 4 yet, so I'm going to play my tier 3. It happened earlier. Uh, and in that case, it happened with the Dene. And so you have somebody who's new to the game partnering up with his buddy who's probably new to the game. They're trying to have a good time. And lo and behold, matchmaking curses them because they're in a division of being put up against a tier 6 battleship. But Spartan, this ain't a tier 6 battleship. It is a tier 6 battleship. This is a tier 6 battleship. It's the Nagato, except it has 7 kilometer range torpedoes, which means it can outrange the torps of a Sharnhorst. Now, don't get me wrong, my torps were launched well before the Sharnhorst was in range. I knew I wasn't going to hit them, but I didn't need to! Wait for it. That's a Sharnhorst, and I just did over 10,000 damage to him. With one salvo. Now, obviously, I need to talk about some other things other than what's good about the ship. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very, very good ship, and if you're out here to get a, uh, a battleship and you want something that's going to be absolutely dominating at its tier, this is what you need to get. I'm not going to lie. The Graf Spee? 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 The Graf. <laughs> the Graf Spee is a very, very good punch-in-the-mouth cruiser with battleship guns. But they're not 16-inch guns. They're, what, 12-inch guns? Or slightly smaller than 12-inch? Somebody's going to have to correct me, I'm, I'm sure. But 286 millimeter guns on a cruiser at tier 5, I can deal with. But these are 16 inch 
Not just any 16-inch gun. These are the Japanese 16-inch 410 millimeter guns on a tier 5 battleship. This thing is so incredibly overpowered right now that it's actually disgusting. But, bear with me, we have a few things to talk about. It isn't the most overpowered ship in the game, bar any, like, there are plenty of other ships that balance this very quickly, because at the end of the day, it is still a Japanese battleship. At the end of the day, if you broadside in this and a battleship hits you towards the rear of your ship, you are not long for this world. But if you play this thing like you have any sense in the world, ask this King George, or the Colorado that we've we've hit, or the Shorn Horse that we got rid of pretty quickly. Just what... Look at this. This is a King George Tier 6 battleship. And he is bow tanking me, for the most part. Slightly over-angled. And just took almost a quarter of his health without citadeling him. In a Tier 5 battleship. Now, the, the bad things about this ship, again, the armor, okay, this thing doesn't have that much armor, and it's not particularly fast. It's actually on the slow side for battleships, which is good. I mean, I say slow side, it, it is over 20 knots. It, it does, I think the fastest I've had is like 24 knots, something like that. Now, right here, I am turning away from a King George. Had he shot armor piercing right now, I would be in trouble. Unfortunately, he decided not to. Uh, but again, that just shows how dominant this little ship can be. And I say little ship because it's not really. It really isn't. Um, but as you can see, our teammate and destroyer is capping the base at the moment. And so that means I have very little time left to talk to you guys because he's going to cap the base and he's going to win the match for our team. Meanwhile, I'm in chat going, please, dude, get off the base. There is literally no reason to do that. Because I am having an amazing game, and I'm about to have an even better game. Hopefully. And, uh, unfortunately, he just keeps doing what he's doing. So, let's get to the rest of what I think is, you know, bad about this ship. So, we've already talked about... The speed's not bad. I'm not going to say the speed is bad. It is definitely not. But the armor is lacking. But that's normal for a Japanese battleship. Because you have to go broadside, or at least give more of your side than is comfortable and when you do that you're going to get citadeled if they hit towards the rear of your ship um but that being said look at this colorado out here who's sailing not completely broadside but giving me enough of his side and watch what happens to him wait for it pow <laughs> just got a citadel on him and put our damage up to 113,000 for the match and we haven't even hit anything with our torps. You don't need torpedoes on this ship. This is a Nagato. This is a very good Nagato. Um, now, I am using, and we're going to have a long post here, so I apologize for those of you who like the, the video to be over. I need to talk about some other things, and the video's over, unfortunately. Um, but I need to talk about the part of the video that I think needs to be talked about. And that is, would I buy this ship? I mean, honestly, absolutely. It's overpowered. I'll just come right out and say it. It's overpowered. For a Tier 5 battleship, it is absolutely overpowered. As you can see, one uh, seven kilometer torpedoes. Uh, you see all of the the um, the stats there for... You have to pause it, obviously. I went through them pretty quick. But it, it's not... It, it's got a decent reload for 410 millimeter guns. I believe it reloads in just under 30 seconds. Now, the commander that I was using was Takio Takagi. Uh, that is the same uh, commander that I use on my Amagi and Nagato and all of that. It, it is a dispersion build. And honestly, maybe I was just getting lucky. I've heard other people saying that this thing is very inaccurate, but I was hitting pretty much all of my shots. Uh, you do get Japanese dispersion, obviously. It is still a Japanese battleship, and you will get those shots where you pull the trigger and watch one round hit the guy over pin and everything else splash in front of him and behind him and, and hit wherever. But for the most part, this thing seemed to behave pretty well for me tonight, with most of my games be being over 100,000 damage. This was the most dominant game that I had, 
where I put up 113,000 damage and they still had four ships left. Unfortunately, didn't get a chance to get more than that due to the fact that my teammate decided he needed to cap the base in a destroyer that could have easily went out and killed some things. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, my honest first look at this ship is it is pretty overpowered and probably needs to be looked at. Um, but for 10,000 doubloons, which is the cheapest that you can get it for, it's a pretty good ship. So I definitely would and probably am, if they leave it as is right now, I'm probably going to pick this ship up because it is disgusting to be able to do the amount of damage to everything that this thing can do and not have to worry about going up against Amagis and Iowas. The worst that you're going to see is Colorado and Nagato. Everything else, easy mode. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.